Right, everyone, so um, I'm kind of nearing completion of hopefully making up this jacket very soon. So now I'm going to make a collar. So for every jacket I made, I learned this from the, the great uh, Irish tailor, who's to me is one of the world's best tailors. He always says, always make a collar for every jacket you make. So, and I do that and you get more accurate results. Instead of just using a template collar pattern, which a lot of tailors do, you draft your own, it doesn't take too long. I'm just gonna give you a little glimpse. I'll give you all of my trade secrets, but I'll just, you can see what I'm going to be doing. So I've got my roll line here, you can see. Here's my jacket. I've actually drawn in my collar, my what we call a gorge line. The gorge line is the, the part of the collar, part of the lapel line here. So this is my gorge line there. And this is my neckline. My actual neckline actually comes up here, actually. So there we have that. So I'll draw that in. And this is your lapel line, so it's very vitally important. So I'm going to establish where my roll line is, which is there. I'm just going to extend that line up. Actually, I'm going to do it sharply so you can see it better for the camera. So there's my sharpie here. Let's get my roll my lapel line there. That's good. There's my shoulder line. Just mark that shoulder line in. And then my back, you measure your back neckline there. So I'm just going to measure my back neckline there. And I've got an inlay here, so I've got to be careful there. And then my seam which is one centimetre in, so it's roughly about there. And I'll just measure, always, when you measure around curves, always put the edge of your tape, sorry, put the tape on the edge, you'll get a more accurate reading. So then I'll come in where my seam allowance would be. And so that says four and a quarter. So that's four and a quarter inches, okay? So put four and a quarter inches, so now I'm going to extend this line from here four and a quarter inches up. Four and a quarter inches up there. And there we have that. That's right, four and a quarter there. That's my half neckline there. So just extend that line up there. And then I'm going to just come because traditionally on bespoke jackets, we make a collar up from Melton. It's like a, a wall and it sits exactly like one seam below the seam. So that's where I'm going to go. So basically it's one seam below that line, which is about one centimeter. That's where I'm going to draw my line because it actually sits below where it's seamed. Because remember that's been seamed up there. So it sits below there. So what we do, I'm going to mark my notch, which is exactly here. And then I'm going to one seam below. And I'm go and I'm just follow my neckline. So that's what I'm going to do here. All right. And then then I establish now my center back. And then I'll shape, you see now, the collar now is going to be exactly shaped to my neckline. But of course, we slightly curve it on the bespoke. It depends on the angle. I'm not going to get too technical on the angle of the lapel. We'll, we'll determine the angle of your gorge line meets the neckline. But, I, but I'm going to angle it a little bit, just slightly give it a curve. But you see, and this is, it's so accurate because the collar actually, actually follows the neckline shape. And that's how you do things, and that's you'll get a perfectly fitted and shaped collar from here. So I'm going to carry on now with the rest of it, and I'll get back to you at the end. So you can see here now, this is my my collar. I've made it slightly wider because when it's this is the under collar. Your top collar always stems from the under collar. So I've made it slightly wider. So when it's actually on, on when I've stitched, when I've just basted it down, tapped it down on the jacket. Then I'm going to sculpt the actual collar shape exactly. You know, that's why I've made it wider. So I've got 
I've got enough to start to mark it where I want the angle to be and the width to be, but this is pretty much the width anyway. So this all stems from the shape of your neckline. You can see the shape of your neckline. So it will fit exactly onto the neckline, this color. So this is one method I do. Also, I, I drape as well. So the last jacket I've done, I actually draped my collar on. So if you learn both methods of draping a collar and flat pattern cutting a collar, you cannot go wrong. So I'll be launching a little mini course on how to draft this collar and how to drape the collar. So watch out for that soon. But anyway, so you'll see me cut this out and put this on the jacket soon. So on that note, everyone, I'll see you soon. Ciao.